Hey guys, what's up? I, Sectatron here from One Hive Gazette, and thank you guys for tuning in to this next CWO Premiere video. Today we are recapping the latest wars in CWO Premiere, the conference finals. Four clans go in, two clans come out, the finals are set for next weekend. So we're going to talk all about what happened in these last two wars and about the two clans that are moving on. Now, I am recording this on the 4th of July, uh, my mistake in the timing here, so I apologize if you hear some fireworks in the background, but hey, it might even add to the hype of the video, so who knows. Anyway though, those are the two wars, just two of them uh, from this weekend, you can see right there. Let's talk about the results, starting with King Jeffrey versus FYSB. Now, this one is going to be a bit of a shorter video because the attacks are only from the King Jeffrey FYSB uh, war. I recorded three from there. I was planning on recording three from the Marshalls Nation WHF2 war, but I was not able to get into either of those clans. They were closed and I couldn't uh, contact the leaders in time. So I have all the stats, I just don't have any background attacks. So it is going to be a slightly shorter video than usual. But um, that's okay because there's not a whole lot to talk about, just two wars. Anyway, like I said, the King Jeffrey FYSB war. FYSB gets the win, 85-83, the one seed, taking down the up and coming King Jeffrey. Let's talk about why that happened. Now, the Town Hall 10v10 action favored King Jeffrey. They had two 10v10 triples. FYSB only a modest one uh, Town Hall 10 versus Town Hall 10 three star. So King Jeffrey gets the plus there. In terms of the 10 v 11, King Jeffrey a little bit cleaner as well. Only took them eight attacks to get those 11s two starred. FYSB took 11 attacks. That's roughly three attacks per base uh, to get those Town Hall 11s two starred. But it comes down to dips. And FYSB a perfect eight for eight. King Jeffrey only five for eight. And that is gonna make the difference here. FYSB perfect on dips, and so often those Town Hall 11s coming down, the three star, those Town Hall 10s, is what makes the difference. And uh, the th extra three Town Hall 11 dip three stars makes up for that one more 10v10 that King Jeffrey got and gives FYSB the two star margin victory. Also, three bases um, for FYSB, Town Hall 9 bases, took four hits to be three star, and two of those three bases had to be dipped by Town Hall 10s. Now this is a little bit independent of some of those other stats because Town Hall 9s aren't as important, but that definitely tied up some of the resources for King Jeffrey to scout uh, higher up bases and to use those Town Hall 10 attacks because they had to use two to dip down and get those Town Hall 9s 3 start. So a good job to FYSB in terms of their Town Hall 9s and also their Town Hall 11s. They seem to be what really won them the war, especially those Town Hall 11s. And they're probably looking to uh, be even more perfect on dips. Actually, you can't be more perfect than 100%, but they're looking to continue continue to be 100% uh, on those dip attacks, talking 11 v 10. Okay, so that was the war, FYSB moves on, good job to them, the one seed uh, getting it done as they were kind of expected to, but you know, the one seed is always just a number, uh, but they are really cashing in on that. Anyway, Marshalls Nation versus WHF2. The Nation, 86-83 with the victory, pretty solid win there. In terms of stats, Marshalls Nation, two 10v10 three stars. WHF2, one 10v10 uh, three star. So not a huge difference. Once again, neither clan really going off on those 10v10s. Marshall's Nation uh, last week had five 10v10 triples, if I remember correctly. So uh, just a modest two for them. But uh, in terms of the 10v11s, Marshall's Nation getting it done very quickly. Just an average of two attempts per base. They used eight attacks to get those Town Hall 11s two starred. There's four Town Hall 11s on each side, and their Town Hall 10s took eight attacks to two star them. WHF2 took an average of three. They took 12 attacks to three star, or sorry, to two star those Town Hall 11 bases. And really, the statistic that makes the biggest difference, once again, are the dip attacks. The 
Town Hall 11 dips on Town Hall 10s. They do not lie. Marshall's Nation, a perfect 8 for 8, just like FYSB. And once again, that gets the victory in this war. Um, the only difference was Marshall's Nation also had the two 10v10 triples. WHF2 had one 10v10. It was reversed in the last war. But still, the Town Hall 11 dips, regardless, make the difference. Marshall's Nation with a three-star margin. And uh, they, once again, are the one seed. So both one seeds advancing. Um, Kind of unusual in a weird way. They're, of course, both the most likely clans to advance, being the one seed, but no one really ever expects both one seeds to advance. Um, if you did, it would be really easy to win all those brackets in the um, uh, NCAA uh, bracket contests because then you could just predict the highest seed, but that's kind of how it happened. I think uh, WHF2 and King Jeffrey were at least three seeds, if not two seeds. So very top clans in the regular season. I guess the regular season did not lie in terms of who the top clans are. No clan really making an unexpected run. No underdogs uh, coming up big. So the two one seeds advancing to the finals. So which clan is gonna get the victory here? It's a very tough one to call. FYSB, Marshalls Nation, two great clans um, dominated throughout the regular season. Let's take a peek at some of the regular season statistics that might shed some light on this matchup. Starting with FYSB, who was 10-1 during the season. They averaged 84.2 stars for each week and only 80.6 stars against, giving them an average star differential each week of 3.7 uh, plus. So that is an extremely large margin they are averaging uh, to win by each week. So they're dominating pretty much all the matchups they were in. Their only loss was a non-divisional against, or a non-conference as well, against a clan from the Elixir Conference. They were coming off an eight-week winning streak going into the playoffs, and now having breezed past three clans in the playoffs, they go into the finals with an 11-week winning streak. Crazy stuff they have not lost in a long time. They're consistent. Uh, they had, I think, 84 stars every week for the first like four or five weeks. So they were putting up a very solid war, 84 stars each week, and that will get you the win most of the time. But towards the end of the season, we saw some additional power to get up to the 86 star wars that can really crush even some very good clans. So FYSB, definitely a force going into the playoffs. Marshall's Nation. 9-2, and two, so one less victory, but nonetheless a great season. They averaged 83.4 stars for and 80.8 against, so similar stars against, just a little bit lower in terms of stars for. Gets them an average star differential of 2.5, um, not quite the 3.7 of FYSB, but still a very high average star differential. They are winning most of their wars by a comfortable margin. They also were 3-0 in their division and 4-0 in the conference, which means their only two losses came from clans in the gold conference. They came off a two-week winning streak going into the playoffs, and now having won their first three playoff matchups, they are going on a five-week winning streak going into the playoffs against FYSB. This is a difficult one for me personally to predict because both clans I've said are possibly the best in the league, um, but one of them can only win, and uh, I'd have to go with FYSB. They've just looked a little bit better. Um, Marshall's Nation does get the higher score this week, but I think FYSB is going to pull out the victory, but who knows? I'm excited as you guys are to see it. Let me know who you think is going to win in the comments below. Maybe I'll do some kind of fun event as we get closer to next weekend. Uh, for the finals. Maybe I'll have a poll or a giveaway or even a stream. I'll let you guys know what I'm going to do. I'm not going to commit to anything quite yet, but we'll see. And uh, that will do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Um, good seasons to WHF2 and King Jeffrey coming in third and fourth. I'm not sure if there's a third place war. I can't remember, but both of them should be very proud coming in the top four. And now all that's left is to determine the very best clan in CWL Premier. It will either be FYSB or Marshalls Nation. Stay tuned for future updates on my channel to find out who wins. Thank you guys for watching. Bisectatron out.